While many videos on the internet show you simply how to frequency split audio, none of them show you how you should frequency split. A mediocre solution you'll find often is to simply load your audio into a mixer insert and put fruity multiband compressor onto it, thus splitting your signal into low, mid, and high bands. The next best solution you'll find is to send your audio into three separate mixer tracks, one for low, mid, and high, and on each of them, adding fruity multiband compressor, muting the bands you do not want. So, on your high mixer insert, mute mid and low. Now, only the higher frequencies of the input signal will play through that mixer insert. The trouble with frequency splitting your audio into three bands is that not only will the mid band inevitably be significantly wider than the low and high bands, it doesn't allow you to properly control the different ranges of frequencies in your signal or song. I suggest splitting your audio signal into five bands. Sub, low, mid, high, and air, or treble. And there are three popular ways to frequency split into five bands that involve three different FL Studio's plugins. The first method is to use Fruity Convolver. The second method is to use Fruity Multiband Compressor. And the third method is to use Maximus. Picking which to use is determined by a few factors. CPU usage, setup time, ease of configuration, amount of signal control, and most importantly, personal preference. My personal preference is to use Fruity Multiband Compressor. When used correctly, it actually increases the dynamic range of your input signal and gives you great control over the signal in each individual band. Here is a chart of the benefits and drawbacks of each method. Click the annotations on screen now to view a video tutorial on how to properly frequency split your audio using the selected method. And don't forget to look in this video's description for numerous download links related to this video series, included the very project file used in this video and dashboard configuration. This project is set up so that you can test which frequency splitting method you like the best, whether it's method 1 using Fruity Convolver, method 2 using Fruity Multiband Compressor, or method 3 using Maximus. Once downloaded, you can use the method select wheel to select which method you want to hear. You can also adjust the frequencies of each band right within the dashboard, and mute or solo out which bands of which method you would like to hear. So for example, you can hear what the mid-band sounds like in each of the methods by soloing out the sub, low, high, and treble frequencies of the other methods and then switching back and forth. Once again, here's the chart of the benefits and drawbacks to each method. Click the method you would like to learn about now.